this session, we're going to be discussing the investigation of an incident in a Cronus Cyber Protect Cloud. I'm looking at the alerts page right now. And you can see there was an incident detected. I can click right here in this blue button that says investigate the incident. You can see the system, and the trigger. It's not mitigated. If we go down to the protection view on the left navigation pane, this is also going to take us to the list of incidents where you'll see that that same incident listed right at the top here. So if I select it from here, I'll have that same investigation option. We'll go ahead and click in here. This is going to take us to a map of that attack with the target system at the top left and the attack flow um, and how it propagated throughout the system. At the top, you can see a summary of the incident. It's not mitigated, severity is high. It's currently in investigating state. We could change that if we wanted to. We could also change the status from not mitigated to mitigated. Positivity is 10 out of 10. There's malware detected. And then the dates. On the left, you have the cyber kill chain. We're going to start with the legend. This is going to show you a couple of different nodes that you'll see within this attack graph, such as the workload, processes, files. You can see um, any of the files or processes that were involved or suspicious activity or malicious, along with the incident trigger, which we can see right here is the cmd.exe. And we can also hide any of these uh, that we don't want to see. So if I wanted to just hide the malicious items, you could see that those went away. Um, below the legend, let's collapse that, we have the attack summary. This is going to uh, you know, ingest that entire attack and have a uh, generative AI output a storyline of the attack. So the attack techniques and tools that were used, the attacker used these such files, um, utilized processes, PowerShell, CMD.exe, potential motivations behind the attack, vulnerabilities exploited, etc. So it can help reduce the time of investigation by having a human readable storyline to walk through. Below the attack summary are the attack stages, starting with the execution, um, moving on down to defense evasion, and uh, establishing persistence on the system. And each of these techniques are aligned with the MITRE attack framework. So for instance, if I wanted to learn more about persistence, if I click this, You'll notice it opens a new tab in the browser where I can read through this particular tactic, tactic or technique and uh, see how it applies here. I believe in this one, it's actually using the uh, bits jobs. So we'll close out of that and take a look. Yep, as you can see, it's abusing bits right there. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, some of these items within within the attack graph. So I'll uh, move over to this initiation. And you can see on the um, right-hand side, it opens a panel with an overview where the verdict is uh, suspicious. And we can see the actual, um, what the script was doing here. So cmd.exe, uh, attempts to delete all the shadow copies in uh, VSS. So this is this is something that uh, ransomware will, will typically do. And if we look at the VSS admin, um, you can see a little bit more details there. We also have response actions that we can take. 
Let me go ahead and um, show the malicious events as well. So for instance, if I wanted to uh, select one of these and uh, take response actions, you're going to see some of those listed here. But we'll get into that in another video. I wanted to go down and uh, show you a little bit more about what, what this particular attack is doing. You can see it has the VSS admin and then this PowerShell script. Um, it calls out to a couple other things. It looks inside Chrome, uh, trying to pull passwords from there. I think it's pulling some uh, tools down from GitHub. Um, you can see Bits Admin here. It's trying to use uh, WinPs for uh, privilege escalation or poss possibly uh, persistence. Um, then using C Secure Delete to clean up after itself and uh, setting up a scheduled task to run a certain uh, open open Chrome and uh, open a certain uh, URL. So there's a couple of different things to look through um, whenever you're performing the investigation, but you're going to have uh, a nice graph to look through on how this attack uh, flowed through the system, as well as uh, the legend that you can show and hide certain nodes within that attack to uh, make it a little more easily digestible with the uh, the storyline to follow to uh, help clarify your understanding of the attack and motivations behind it along with the attack stages. So this will help you when determining whether this particular attack is a true positive or a false positive and what files and processes were associated or involved in the attack of this system. Thank you for your time and we'll be back with a, another video regarding the remediation of an incident. Thanks.